Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for 2016. So this reading is for Capricorns who were born between December 23rd and December 31st. So basically the first 10 days. If you notice, I've split every single sign up into three parts and uh, basically by 10 days and I'm pretty much using the deacons of astrology. So if you know what your deacon is in astrology, then uh, you know find the appropriate video below in the description. If not, I put the dates for every single sign uh, next to the video link. So it will say Capricorn, and it will have, you know, Deacon 1, December 23rd to December 31st, Deacon 2, and, and you know, Deacon 3, and so on. Uh, so then you can just find your birth date uh, in there, and that will be the appropriate video for you to watch. I did this for a couple reasons, to give really accurate readings for the year, and just kind of as a gift to you guys for being awesome and, and watching me in the first place. But uh, having said all that, you can also, people have been asking, can I watch all three? Yeah, absolutely. You can watch all three videos, no problem. Uh, and, and I'm sure that you'll find parts that resonate with you in the other two videos for your sign. So let's start again for those who were born December 23rd to the 31st. This is for you. You start with the Joker. And what I'm getting off the Joker is something totally different than I normally get. I'm getting that you really need to be kind of like a chameleon this year. You need to know when to change, which the, the Joker would be very good at, by the way. The Joker is kind of like a trickster. And if you look at tricksters, they're good at blending in. They're good at knowing when to talk and when not to talk. And they're good at, you know, knowing how to, like, like mingle with different types of people on different levels and all this other stuff. I think you're going to be doing a lot of that this year, kind of like mingling with two or three or four different sets of people who are different. You know, I don't want to use the word at, at different class levels, but it's like, you know, very just different types of people. And you're going to have to be able to blend with those people and be able to act like them in a lot of ways and mimic them uh, in a lot of ways this year. I, I think that will be very beneficial to you. I think that there are going to be some situations where you're going to have to kind of, uh, you, you know, fake it till you make it this year, even with this card in a lot of ways where you're going to have to, you know, put on, it's not like, not like lying, not, and that's not at all what I mean. It's not like you're lying or deceiving or anything like that, but just giving off, a, a, you know, like an air of knowing what to do in certain situations, even if you're not sure it's, and I think Capricorn has the ability to do that. No doubt about it. Uh, I think that will make you very, very successful this year with this card. Next, you have the Ace of Hearts. Your problem's melting away. Capricorn's been one challenge sign. Let's put it that way. I know. Uh, you know, I have Capricorn dominates my chart in all my major planets practically have Capricorn. So I totally feel the Capricorn energy um, for sure. And, and, and the Ace of Hearts comes in. It, it brings in a lighter energy, a happier energy, makes us happier, makes us feel better. Uh, but removes challenges as well, makes things not so difficult all the time. It kind of allows us to move forward where we haven't been able to move forward in the past, even in love. Like if you haven't been able to move forward in love, this card comes in and allows you to really kind of gain some, uh, you know, traction in the love field. So if you haven't had anybody in your life, you could definitely meet somebody this year who would make you very happy because, you know, Ace of Hearts is also a card of happiness, just a card of feeling great, feeling happy, and having some things go your way this year for once. Uh, so that is great. Next, you have the Ten of Diamonds, a business success card. I mean, I know a lot of Capricorns that are, you know, are in business uh, and have businesses and, and things like that. This is stability coming in from those places. It's also usually, a, you know, uh, your finances getting better, money getting better for you. If you have a job, this could be things becoming more stable with your job. Uh, and I'm also getting that if you are in like a temp position or something along those lines, you could be offered a position at your at your job with this card. But this card also it, it makes things not so extreme like you know like the ups and the downs it, it kind of evens things out for longer periods of time are you still going to have challenges no doubt about it but this card kind of makes things a little bit easier uh, you know i will say this though i always say with tens they do require work you have to work to gain the benefits of this card but it, it's still better than what we've been experiencing for a while and i mean a lot better if, if you do the work and things like that Next, you have the Queen of Hearts coming in. Good, good compassionate energy. Could even be somebody around you, like a, a loved one. Uh, it could be your mother. Queen of Hearts is frequently read as the mother, which, yeah, for me, you know, is not always true um, the way I read. But the Queen of Hearts could be, you know, somebody coming in in a relationship type of of way. It doesn't matter, male or female. I don't attach sex to my card, so it could be either or. Probably be a water sign. 
and uh, they would be very compassionate and caring, maybe a little bit lazy. Uh, the Queen of Hearts can be a little bit, you know, kind of lazy, but they would be a lot of fun, and, and, you know, they would be really caring as well, very, you know, very kind and caring people, very compassionate and, and helpful and, and all of those things. It can also be advice coming in from your mother, your mother or a mother-like figure like your aunt, or even if you just have somebody in your life who you consider, like, caring, that gives you caring advice. That's how you would know this type of advice because it could come from somebody else but it would be it would come off as very compassionate and caring it wouldn't be coming from a place of fear or hate or anything like that so that's how you would know uh, and you'd want to listen to that advice especially if it's coming from your mother with this card definitely listen to your mom your moms out there uh, next you have the six of hearts coming in as I always say this, this card kind of only has one meaning for me it's kind of like that putting energy out getting it back Usually in the past with this card, you put energy into things and you don't get it back. You get like zero back. But now with this card coming in, you can safely put energy into things and, and you know, it will come back to you at the very least. And, and that will be very, you know, very helpful for you as well. It can also be somebody, you know, it could be matching up with somebody on a really deep level, like mind, body, spirit level. I always say it's like that plugging in of two people when you're really like mesh with somebody and you're really kind of, you know, on the same level and you're able to like you know really communicate on that uh on the same level and, and that's what this card can mean it's like almost like a soulmate like connection you have the ace of hearts you have the queen of hearts you have this card so you could really see some like really good stuff with love this year especially with these cards um but again, the big message here on the Six of Hearts is that it is very karmic. It leads to a lot of like, uh, you know, karmic change in your life, you know, and usually in a positive way. Now, obviously, if you've been a terrible person for you know the last couple of years, that's going to come back and bite you. But you know, I don't think it is. But again, this is a lot of success, a lot of good things uh, coming in with this card. Next, you have the Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades, I'm getting, is the energy that is surrounding you this year that you're going to be, um, you know, using a lot. The Queen of Spades is very intelligent. She knows a lot of stuff. Um, she usually knows all the details of, of everything that she's involved involved in. So that's what it can mean. Sometimes when this card comes up, we don't know enough details. So if you're finding yourself trying to move forward in a relationship or in work or, or spirituality, wherever you're trying to move forward in life, Maybe you need to dig a little bit deeper and, and find out what the truth is and, and what the details are. You know, maybe you're trying to start a business and, and you're not focused enough on the details. So you need to kind of like open up to the details of, of the business and everything that it's going to involve, involve. And that doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to do it. It just means you need to make sure that you know everything so that you can take care of what you need to take care of. Um, queen of spades is also, I, you know, like I say, I, I consider her like the most aggressive queen in the deck, I guess you could say, and she really wants to achieve things. She really wants to make st stuff happen. Totally Capricorn, by the way, you know, really like that deep, you know, wanting to achieve something really like working, really wanting to be perseverant, you, you know, that is her all the way. So I think you're going to embody all those traits this year, really going to push forward in a lot of ways, you know, you have a v nice year. I, I, I think that you've had some challenges in the past that have really affected you. And now what I think is happening is this year, I don't necessarily think the challenges, some of them are going away, especially with that ace, I mean, that ace of hearts, definitely. But I still think there are going to be challenges there. I just think you're not even going to think about them. I think you're just like so, you know, done with all the difficulty that you're just going to blast right through stuff because you're just going to totally ignore it. You're going to be like, whatever, and, and you're just going to go right through any challenges that come up. And the final card you have is the nine of clubs. It's been coming up a lot for a lot of signs, and I've been rotating decks, doing all these videos constantly. I rotate decks to make sure cards aren't sticking and, and all of that, and I shuffle really well. So it's interesting that this card has come up for a lot of signs. It must be something, like I always say, something astrological or, or, or something like that. The Nine of Clubs asks us to look at more options in our lives. You know, in any path that we're on, whether it be a job path, business path, love path, whatever, it says if we're being blocked, we just need to open up a little bit and, and look for some other solutions. That's what it says. It's a very successful card. It allows us to be incredibly successful. It allows us to build a lot of success. It does take time with this card. It's a nine. 
it's not complete. Uh, nines want to be tens. And the good news about the nine of clubs is it always becomes a ten. You know, So if you put the work in, you can really make a lot happen with this card. And, you know, another side of this card really is being noticed. I mean, this card can get you, you know, notice can give you some achievements, some recognition at work and even on like online and social media and things like that. You could really have a chance to get picked up and noticed with this card, um, you know, kind of on that level. Some recognition at work would be nice. It could lead to promotions and things like that. So just keep your mind open to anywhere where you could get noticed or you could stand out. But all in all, looks like a great year. Again, feel free to watch your other two videos. And thank you for watching.